I'm the deputy chairman of the state of Illinois Black Panther Party for Fred Hampton. And uh, a lot of people don't understand the Black Panther Party's uh, relationship with white mother country radicals. A lot of people don't even understand that word that they uses a lot. But what we're saying is that there are white people in the mother country that are for the same type of thing that we are for stimulating revolution in the, in the mother country. And we said that we work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We're not a racist organization because we understand that racism is an excuse used for capitalism. And we know that racism is just is, is a byproduct of capitalism. Everything would be all right if everything was put back in the hands of the people. And we're going to have to put it back in the hands of the people. Everybody in the state of Illinois is going to have to be involved or even around the revolution because we're going to have one. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to do more than talk. We're going to have to do more than listen. We're going to even have to do more than learn. We're going to have to start practicing, and that's very hard. We're going to have to start learning, and you learn through practice. We've got to start making mistakes, and you learn through making mistakes. We've got to start getting out there with the people. And a lot of times we think we're better than the people, but that's an insult, and that's criminal. Think you're better than the people. So we got to get together and learn where it's at. It's going to take a lot of hard work. That breakfast for children is something else. You ought to dig on it. All, every sister in this, in this, in this, in this, uh, in this audience. I'm, every sister in this audience ought to get themselves together and come on down and help us with that Breaks for Children program. Y'all to help come down and help feed them children in the morning. We have Breaks for Children because we teach the people through practice, through observation and participation, that people can be fed free. That's the people thing. Socialism is the people. You're afraid of yourself. If you're afraid of socialism, you're afraid of yourself. We know they have our pictures, we know they're looking for us, we know they want us, but we're still saying that even though we could be in a sense, as far as this system goes, on the mountaintop, we in the Black Panther Party because of our dedication and understanding what's in the valley, knowing that the people are in the valley, knowing that we originally came from the valley, knowing that our flag is the same flag as the people in the valley, knowing that our enemy is on the mountaintop, our friends are in the valley, we say even though it's nice to be on the mountaintop, we're going back. To the I be in the office every day. I be in the streets propagandizing every day. I be working with everybody every day. I be teaching that solidarity is the thing. The end of a complete wipeout of imperialism is the thing. So if you're going to be thinking about me, that's what Bobby would be teaching. If you're going to be thinking about us, all we say is we don't. Ain't no thing about going nowhere, getting killed. All we want to know is that you're doing what we'd be doing if we were here. And you've got to do that. You can't do it unless you believe that you can do it. Ah! In the spirit of liberation, we understand that they want everybody in the party in jail. And we know that if we try to figure out and separate and divide, and divide who should go, who should and, who shouldn't go. and who shouldn't go, we spend more time, spend more time doing, that doing that than working for the people. Right. So the quick solution, so the, solution. the speedy one, speedy one. Nobody, goes. nobody goes. Nobody goes. Nobody goes. We all stay right here. Because we love the people. Okay, you can put your hands down now. We say all power to all people. We say white power to white people. White power to white people. Brown power to brown people. Brown power to brown people. Yellow power to yellow people. Black power to black people. Black power to black people. X power to those that we left out. X power to those we left out. We say Panther power to the Vanguard Party. When you when you leave here, leave here saying the last words. Now, before you go to bed tonight, say, I am a revolutionary. Make that the last word. In case you don't wake up, then somebody might believe it and you might, you know, end up in a, what they call a revolutionary happy hunting ground. <laughs> say that. I am a revolutionary. I am a revolutionary. Say it when you're going out. Hey, man, I'm going to leave. Okay, we're going to say it while we're going out. And we're going to 
just found a thing called Free Fred. Don't that sound nice? Hey, let's do that. Free Fred. Free Fred. Free Fred. Free Fred. Free Fred. Hey, I ain't even in jail yet.
And why? Because they want to keep you to believing that I'm your enemy and that everybody else that's black and that wears a lot of hair on his head and hair on his face, they want to keep you thinking that he's your enemy. Why? Because if ever you would disregard him and overlook him just for a minute and throw away that question of racism and started to deal with a little logic, then it could be, there would be no one else you could attack other than hand to hand, other than David, and other than Tricky Dicky Nixon. Like we always said, if you ask to make a commitment at the age of 20, and you say, I don't want to make that commitment on the because of the simple reason that I'm too young to die, I want to live a little bit longer. What you did, you did already. You have to understand that people have to pay the price of peace. If you dare to struggle, you dare to win. If you dare not to struggle, then goddamn it, you don't deserve to win. Let me say peace to you if you're willing to fight for it. Let me say it in the spirit of liberation. I've been gone for a little while. At least my body's been gone. You ain't got to repeat after me. At least my body's been gone for a little while. But I'm back now, and I believe that I'm back to stay. I believe that I'm going to do my job, and I believe that I was born not to die in a car wreck. I don't believe I'm going to die in a car wreck. I don't believe I'm going to die from slipping on a piece of ice. I don't believe I'm going to die because I got a bad heart. I don't believe I'm going to die because of lung cancer. I believe that I'm going to be able to die in what I was in the, in the thing that I was born for. I believe that I'm going to be able to die high off the people. I believe that I will be able to die as a revolutionary in the international revolutionary proletarian struggle. And I hope that each one of you will be able to die in the international proletarian revolutionary struggle or even be able to live in it. And I think that struggle is going to come. Why don't you live for the people? Why don't you struggle for the people? Why don't you die for the people?